Today, I present to you another Wacky Weekly. And now don't freak out, okay? Wacky Weekly is back with a new hazard. This one is a little more, I don't know, fun. Basically, the premise is, at the end of the turn, any gold you didn't use during that turn gets carried over to the next turn. Picture magpie, kind of idea. Well, today we're going to try out a triple S combination where we got scaling, snipers, and summons all in the same team with a little bit of toy house hazard tossed in there for fun. And we'll see how it goes. Hope you enjoy. Let's jump right in. I guess we should probably address um, this the house. Oh, this works in shop. Dude, I didn't even realize. Yeah, so we should probably address the, the elephant in the room. Um, this homie, tiny house, you gain remaining gold at the end of the turn. Whatever you have left, you gain on the next turn. So picture like a magpie kind of ability, but passive and you don't have to have the ugly little bird sitting on your team. So that kind of idea, right? Ouch. And we're good. Okay. As long as we don't lose there, I'm happy. And we get a level up. How neat is that? Okay, so we got this kind of like buy, sell, summon vibe going on here. I think I'm just going to rock a weasel though, I'll be honest. Go here, go here. I'm honestly not even looking at a horse either. I'm down to keep this horse, but that's about it. Do we have any toy synergies? We got Ferret, okay. So we could run a Ferret, you know, we got Ferret Gecko. I should have known that, I've been getting tennis balls sniped out here. Um, but let's, let's try a Stork. I think Stork is a little safer, we got some summons going. And you got no triggers left. Dang, dude, these guys got some snipes cooking out here. We'll take a draw, I guess. That was a really strong team. The puffins and everything. Um, we could keep the stork here for a second. I want to run a nightcrawler, but I want to like play him, you know? You know what I'm saying? I think we go here. Um, combine. Stork. We'll probably combine here, but let's see who we find. Okay, so in this case, so next turn we're going to be tier 3. I don't have anything I want to buy here, so we're just not going to buy anything. Spend this 3 gold next turn. Essentially see it as a, I don't know, an avocado early, you know. Oh, dude, I didn't even realize you can get these guys. That's insane. <laughs> dude. Um, we, oh dude, we're almost good. We're almost there. All right, give me something good here. Something fantastic, please. Just the best that you could ever get. Seagull, do we have rice? Okay, we got Seagull, but we don't have any synergies for him. Not in the buy-sell department, at least. Okay, we could give him like caramel or something, maybe. Maybe we just run a platypus, though. I think that makes more sense. And then, what if we try, ooh, I kind of like this. We go Puffin, we're going to have a lot of these, and on the summons, eventually, you're going to be able to use the Pheasant here. I kind of like that. And then let's just go Fig. So we're kind of working some Snipes into the mix here, a little bit. Pangolin, we have Pill. We do not have Pill, so Pangolin, we don't have Deer Lord or anything either. No, we don't. We have Brain Cramp Minotaur. That's pretty good. So yeah, I think for the most part, the way I'm planning on using this toy is just when you get to the end of the turn, instead of rolling like you normally would, you're just gonna end turn, you know, and then keep the gold for the following turn. That's really all I see it doing, to be honest. Which is still good, don't get me wrong, but... You know, maybe not like super exciting. Um, hold you. 
Let's go here. I'm going to save the level up for next turn. This is another nice situation, right? You can do... Um, you can save the level up and just end turn and you also get the gold. You know? Kind of same idea as before, but a little different because we have a level up. <laughs> Looking good. Yeah, dude, we're cooking. We're cooking out here. Okay, so now we have 13, so I'm going to upgrade our Nightcrawler. Now that's just fantastic. So here it's kind of tough, right? So we got a lot of good summons. You should actually be back here. Take advantage of these summons. Um, we definitely want to run a turkey, but these two kind of like pair very well together. I think we get rid of you first, and then we'll get rid of the pheasant. Obviously this strawberry is not doing anything. That's okay. That is not a problem. We got an elk. We could throw in, start buffing up a platypus. But it's like, it's one gold per turn. I don't think that's really gonna, gonna tip the needle all that much. Maybe we can minotaur behind you though. That seems pretty good. Run something like this. And then garlic on you. Yeah, I think I like this. So the Nightcrawler is going to be huge. Minotaur is going to get huge by virtue of the Nightcrawler being huge. I think this is good. We could also put it behind the Stork, but we're not really thinking the Stork is going to be quite as tanky as the Daycrawler will. And we're good. Freaking tatsel worms, am I right? Always tatsel worms out here. Um, let's roll. I'd like to get some more platypuses. Plat platypi? There is there a correct version of that? Don't see anything. Let's just continue on to the next round. A little bit of a bummer. That turn didn't really do much for us. Okay, it's definitely feeling like a Tatsel Worm kind of vibe here. Or is it? <laughs> or is it? We're kind of saucing on the Tatsel Worms too. As much as it is a Tatsel Worm vibe. Ooh, that's huge. Give me another turkey. That's fine. Ooh, we have a Mosasaurus too. Do you have a Flying Squirrel? We do not have Flying Squirrel, so Mosasaurus is a little dicey. Could be a little difficult to make it work. We'll see. Well, he's making it work, I think. I mean, it really is, though, like... <laughs> his, his dog got dazed, which I think hurt him a lot. But like, turkey with the nightcrawler, dude, it's just so good. It's so good. You really can't go wrong with it. Um, we also got Puma. We're definitely gonna have to try toys this week, without a doubt. Maybe we ditch the platypus here? Try to run a snake? And then, ideally, yeah, ideally we get a turkey going here. And then we need to find minotaurs, or not even minotaurs. He hasn't done anything so far. Maybe we go Velociraptor instead. No, I think Mongoose is probably better. Do we sell the minotaur and we go Mongoose here? Honestly, why not? So let's see, we probably want air palm, I'm thinking. There doesn't seem to be a ton of scaling, so peanut jar probably isn't it. We could go TV though, but we're going summon, so we don't need it. I'd rather get some guaranteed hits with our snake here. Beautiful. I don't know why, like the Tatsel Worm, it feels like we should be losing against these teams, but we're not. And I ain't complaining, I'll take it, but 
Just a little funky, right? A little interesting. Okay, level you. So yeah, you're not going to be summoning a whole lot anymore. Which is a little problematic. Maybe we switch out the Nightcrawler with a Cerberus. That way we get more snake triggers. Ooh, I kind of like that. Or we go T-Rex. Tell you what. Start me here. Okay. And then we don't need to roll, remember, because we got the toy. So T-Rex is going to be buffing a little bit. Give, make him a little more resilient. Ouch. <laughs> what the heck was that? We actually were almost okay, too. Had a lot of snipes there. Desync error. Yeah, I feel that. Oh, we didn't freeze our other mongoose. What the hell? Alright, I guess we'll just do a tier one again. I haven't actually been verifying that the this coconut is going after the fig. Hopefully it is. That'd be a little awkward. Um, roll me. Not seeing a whole lot here. Maybe we just go orange? Get him a little tankier. I'm not seeing it. I think we just... I think it's better here with this toy, in general. You should end turn at 3 gold instead of rolling if you don't have anything else to do. Because otherwise you roll, you get like 3 pets that you want to freeze. And then you're just kind of like wasting the gold, you know what I'm saying? Dude, snipes are ridiculous this week. What is going on? It's a snipe weekly out here. Alright, roll me. Grab me another turkey. Let's go... We could throw in a Mosasaurus, to be honest. It's effectively a T-Rex, though, let's be real. Unless we get rid of the stork and do something, but no, let's, let's stay focused here. Beautiful. Fly might actually be... No, I think the Cerberus is better than the fly. So let's end turn here. We're kind of just fumbling around a little bit, testing some stuff out, see what works. This guy's got the same heckin' build that I do. <laughs> Ooh, we hit his turkey. Beautiful. We'll take it. We got more scaling than he does. Um, speaking of, let's try to get this T-Rex going a little bit. Come on. I wish I didn't do that now. <laughs> Alright, well, we don't need the turkey. Let's, let's put the T-Rex in the back. Make him a little bit of a snipe sponge, if you will. So that our turkey isn't. Yeah, see? Turkey was still a little snipe spongy, but we're good. We're good. Here. Here. Did they buff the oyster too? Good. Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy. Because I'm like... <laughs> They definitely changed this pet, and then I look and they like didn't. <laughs> Someone's like, yeah, that guy's been the same for like ever. It's kind of weird. Please don't hit the turkey. Thank you. Beautiful. Dude, the snipes are going kind of hard. The snipe summon team is pretty good. Is pretty good. Roll me. Roll me. Roll me. I think we just run an orange here. Um, I guess in this case, yeah, you just end turn. Maybe we'll find somebody, maybe we won't, we'll see. More snipes. Yeah, the garlic is doing work for us, that's for sure. <laughs> we got another turkey. Love to see it. And there it is. I mean, sometimes? <laughs> You just gotta pick the good pets, you know? When in doubt, run a turkey, run a snake. I mean, Cerberus, T-Rex actually did a lot for us, I would argue. 
Because it came down to just stats, right? Everyone's running snipes. You got to get a little scaling in there too. So we had scaling, we had summons, and we had snipes all on the same team. That's kind of awesome. I like that. And yeah, I think this is what a wacky weekly should look like, right? The toy is not defining the weekly. It's like a little supplementary thing to shift the, the perspective a little bit. Keep things fresh, but don't take over. You know, you still feel like you're playing sap. You just have a, a little thing in the back of your head that you're like, hey, make sure you're taking advantage of this or considering it for the future. That's cool. I like it. Good stuff. I like it, Teamwood.